However, I think I might be able to predict when we get a new big update for the app. I'm not basing this off of any facts or evidence, but I have a sneaking suspicion that we could get a new update sometime during the summer. I think this could be the case because if we say that the final two quints get added to Donifier when their respective seasonal events happen, it could line up to be either a bit before June or around early August. Well, would you look at that? I was kind of close, wasn't I? <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome back to another MSM Composer commentary video. This one is a bit different because, as you may be aware, MSM Composer got a huge update as of a few months ago, and after much thought, I have decided to throw some of my thoughts and opinions into the ring for you all to enjoy. I wanted to give myself some time to mess around with everything that we were given before I made any definitive statements, so now that I'm fairly acquainted with said update, let's hop into it all. First things first, we gotta read the update log to remind ourselves on what exactly they updated. In the log it reads, Prepare for a symphony of new features in this monstrously enchanting update. We've added some highly requested tools to help you compose like a true monster maestro. Now you can orchestrate your compositions by moving monsters around the composer stage to perfect your soundscape. Plus, you can now add up to 5 unique copies of a monster, each with its own part. Finally, to celebrate the 2.0 update, players of My Singing Monsters composer will be able to unlock gas for use on composer. Composer Island in the original My Singing Monsters. Talk about a harmonious upgrade. And as per usual, they also attached a bulleted list containing previously unspecified content. This includes the ability to merge single and held notes into one monster, the filter options in the monster select screen, the new Amazon font, and an updated help menu with new tutorials. I haven't personally checked out the new help menu, mostly because I don't know if I can, but what I do know is that they also happen to update some monster chromatics. The biggest ones in my opinion are Hula and Kazillion, both of which have pitch accurate skills now, so that's huge, you know, obviously. With all of this quality of life given to My Sing Monsters Composer, I think it's safe to say that this has been the best update since the Ethereals, an update that came out five whole years ago. Anyways, allow us to dive into the meat of this video and talk more in depth about these new additions to the app. I got the more negative opinion out of the way first, so let's talk about the new filter options in the monster select screen. I can't say that I'm the biggest fan of it, but I'm anything but against the addition. It adds more accessibility to the game, which I'm all for, and I definitely see it having purposes, just maybe not for myself in particular. I also have a mini complaint when it comes to the 5 of a new monster feature, but we'll cross that path soon. First up, we have the ability to move the monsters anywhere on the stage. This is something that I think we all agreed on wanting, and I believe I even pitched the idea in one of my previous videos, which goes to show that we can make a change if we express ourselves. Nevertheless, the fact that they added this not only gives us hope for the future of new content being added to the app, but it makes composing so much better. This can allow us to create panning or spatial audio, along with allowing us to express our creativity when it comes to our layouts of monsters. All in all, this was one of many W's that came within this update. Next up, let's talk about the merging of single and held notes, another goaded update. If you asked any user of the Composer app what the most annoying part of the app was, I can guarantee at least three people would say that overlapping notes are the most annoying part. You know, those three people being me, myself, and I. But in all seriousness, I found it annoying on many occasions when a monster would need to use a held note, but their short note prior would overlap with it, and I know at least a few of you also had that opinion. All that being said, when I heard that shortened held notes will now be played by the same monster, I was ecstatic. Previously, we had to figure out such inconvenient ways to get around overlapping notes, which led to other notes overlapping, basically just causing one huge domino effect. So, if you couldn't tell, I'm utterly grateful for this addition as well. And saving what is debatedly the best thing to come from this update for last, 
we have to talk about the ability of having up to five of the same monsters. So fun fact, I was actually planning on making a video dedicated to the issue of audio balancing in the Composer app, but the 2.0 update came out before I was able to start even writing the script. So I found the timing of it all rather entertaining, dare I say. Anywho, like I said earlier, I do have some very tiny complaints about this part of the update, so let's quickly go over those before anything else. For one, I have found that if you have two of the same monsters doing the same identical, you know, track or notes or whatever, there's a chance that the audio quality of said monsters will decrease because it's too loud for the app or something like that, so that's mostly just a heads up from me to you, but a little bit of audio adjustment should do the trick. Secondly, now that I do have multiples of the same monster, uh, I would think that it could help out a lot to have the ability to show one specific variation of the monster instead of them all, because at this point in time, we only have the option to view every single one. And thirdly, I think we could benefit from a better way to get a different number of a monster, because as of right now, you have to scroll over to the monster, press on it, and then have, you have to scroll over to it again, and then you can go to the number of the monster that you want, so, you know, it's... It, it, it can be pretty inconvenient if you have to do that a lot, so having a, you know, little fix that could make it quicker would definitely be beneficial. But enough negativity, let me glaze up this feature cause boy does it deserve it. As briefly mentioned, this allows us to fix audio balancing in a much smarter way in comparison to turning every other monster's volumes down. It also just generally lets us create more tracks that might require a similar sound font. Oh yeah, and we can now technically say that we have dynamics in the app even if it isn't the most efficient thing ever. These duplicates are truly able to lead us into the new era of composing within the app and I look forward to continuing my journey with it. Overall, I think it's unanimously agreed upon that this update was nothing short of extraordinary, and it is such a relief to have an update that I'm genuinely happy about, and not just because it's proof that the monster handlers remembered this game's existence. Every single addition in this update was absolutely wonderful, and this gives me so much hope for the future of this app. If we got additions like this that exceeded my expectations, who knows what they could add next, and now that we can move monsters around the island, this surely means that we'll be able to see new monster classes being added to the app in the near future, but who knows. Like always, let me know your own opinions on the 2.0 update. And while you're at it, feel free to let me know what you think we can expect to see in the next update of MSM Composer, whether that's new features or even a new monster class for the app. I apologize if this video is a bit short for these types of videos that I make, but I kind of just went into this wanting to express my opinions and see where that took me, so I hope that it ended up being enjoyable to watch anyways. I'm really looking forward to the future of MSM Composer, and I bet you all are as well, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all later. See ya!